All right, this is your final example um, that I'm going to review. So this one says, write an equation of a line that is perpendicular to 2x plus 3y equals 6 and passes through 4, negative 1. So put your answer in point, slope, slope, intercept, and standard form. All right, so same thing. I'm going to kind of draw a picture over here. So let's just say that we have um, your line right here that is 2x plus 3y equals 6. We're writing the equation of the line that is perpendicular to it. We know goes, or sorry, um, has a slope of we're not sure of, but it goes through the point four comma negative one. So remember, you can always go from point slope to slope intercept to standard. We want to put it in point slope form first, but remember that requires our point, which we actually have. The four is our x one, the negative one is our y one but we need the slope. We are going to get the slope from this equation, okay? All right, we're gonna get the slope from this equation. And after we get the slope from this equation, we're gonna find the opposite reciprocal and then we're done with that equation. So first, let's find the slope. And remember, in order to find the slope, you have to solve for y. So we subtracted two x from both sides, divide everything by three, and we get the slope is negative two thirds. Okay, so I know the slope of my perpendicular line is negative two thirds. So now I can plug everything into point slope form, okay? Oh, I lied, my slope is not negative two thirds. That was the parallel slope, okay? So the perpendicular slope, you have to do the opposite reciprocal, which is flip it, negative becomes the positive, flip your fraction, and that becomes 3 halves. So our slope is actually positive 3 halves. Sorry about that. I had parallel on the brain instead of perpendicular, okay? So now we're going to use this slope and our ordered pair 4 comma negative 1 to write the equation of the line, which is what you've done before, okay? We don't need this line anymore. We're completely done with it. Gone. All right, so first we're going to put it in um, point slope form because we have the points. Okay, we have our y1, which is negative one, our slope, which is three halves, and our x1, which is positive four. Okay, so we're gonna fill everything in. Now that became a positive one because we had y minus negative one from right here, three halves x minus four. So now every single solitary time that we go from point slope form to slope intercept form, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna distribute and then um, add or subtract whatever is next to y. All right, so here we distributed three halves times x, three halves times negative four is six, and you can plug that on your calculator. Then we subtract one from both sides and we get y equals three halves x minus seven. So we have our slope intercept form. All right, so then the final thing we want is standard form. So, and this is the order, point, slope, slope, intercept, standards. You always have to kind of do it in that order. So standard form, remember, X and Y need to be on the same side. X has to be marching first. X has to be positive. No fractions, no decimals. Let's get rid of that fraction first. So whatever the fraction is, let's just multiply every single solitary piece, every piece that's separated by addition or subtraction by 2. So you end up with 2Y. These 2s cancel equals 3x minus 14. Well, now let's move that 3x over to the other side. So we have negative 3x plus 2y equals negative 14. Notice x is first, but x is not positive. We need to make it positive. So I have to divide every single solitary piece by negative 1. Once I do that, um, I get 3x minus 2y equals 14. Everything just becomes the opposite. Negative, or sorry, positive, negative, positive. And then now we have our standard form. And if you have questions on this, we'll be going over it in chat.